How often are we like this innkeeper, being too busy or preoccupied with our current task or our current problems, or even engrossed in sin, that we don't even recognize or notice Jesus trying to get our attention? Biblically, we all know the story of Christmas. Jesus, the Savior of the universe, was born of a virgin in the town of Bethlehem. We all know Joseph, Mary, and the shepherds. Although, sorry to disappoint your nativity scenes, but there were no wise men at Jesus' birth. The wise men showed up a couple years later, and it's stated in the Gospel of Matthew. Then Herod, when he had secretly called the wise men, determined from them what time the star appeared. Then Herod, when he saw that he was deceived by the wise men, was exceedingly angry, and he sent forth and put to death all the male children who were in Bethlehem in all its districts from two years old and under, according to the time which he had determined from the wise men. But this video isn't about the wise men. I want to talk about an unnamed character that often gets overlooked in the biblical account of the Christmas story. And no wonder he gets overlooked. The Bible doesn't even mention his occupation. It's only implied. Who am I referring to? The innkeeper. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Of course, this is all speculation, but why didn't the innkeeper help this very pregnant woman who was about to give birth? Yes, Bethlehem was overcrowded due to everyone returning to their hometowns for the census. But couldn't the innkeeper rearrange something for Mary and Joseph? See, I believe the innkeeper was a lot like many of us today. He was busy and overwhelmed with the task of managing the crowded inn. Mary and Joseph certainly were not the only ones looking for a place to stay that night. He may have been so focused on the busyness of the moment that he didn't even notice she was pregnant. How often are we like this innkeeper, being too busy or preoccupied with our current task or our current problems, or even engrossed in sin, that we don't even recognize or notice Jesus trying to get our attention? Jesus may be trying to get your attention because you have never had a relationship with him before. Or, even as a Christian, Jesus could be trying to get our attention because our focus isn't on him, or he could be trying to send someone to us that is in need of our help. We need to make sure we do not become like the Jews when God spoke in the book of Isaiah. I revealed myself to those who did not ask for me. I was found by those who did not seek me. To a nation that did not call on my name, I said, Here am I. Here am I. All day long I have held out my hands to an obstinate people who walk in ways not good, pursuing their own imaginations. A people who continually provoke me to my very face. Jesus came to disrupt and change our lives, not just to be a routine we do once a week, or only to go to when we have a problem. This Christmas, remember that this holiday is about the birth of a Savior, not Santa, reindeer, a tree, or presents. And throughout the other 364 days of the year, let's not be like the innkeeper in failing to make room in our hearts and our lives for Jesus, or for those in need God may be sending our way. Jesus shouldn't be just a part of our lives for an hour a week. He should be the center of our lives every day. If you struggle focusing on him, just remember why Jesus came. He came to save you. And she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. But why? Because God loves you. But God demonstrates his own love toward us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. I hope you enjoyed this short video, and I pray... You and your family have a wonderful Christmas and a happy and blessed new year. Thank you for watching and God bless.